My friends keep saying that I love beetroot, which is false, so I need to prove them wrong by creating the ultimate beetroot farm. Also, it's in super flat, don't ask why. And this farm can be made completely automatic using villagers. As a part of reproduction, villagers will throw food at each other. But what if we put a hopper in between them? Well, then we'll throw it in the hopper. But before I actually work on starting the farm, I need to, uh, fix something. With my villagers reset, I began running the farm. Well, not completely, I had to like first put the villagers in. And yeah, the farm the farm works. And sure, 19 beetroot for all this work, is it really worth that much? Yeah, because it means that it works and that's really all I need. I mean, really, the real thing that I just need to do is just keep expanding it. Keep, you know, adding bone meal to get more beetroot. Keep adding more sections, just keep building this up and eventually I'll get like infinite beetroot. It'll be crazy. Okay, so, uh, news. Interesting news. The thing stopping us right now isn't a lack of beetroot. It isn't a lack of villagers. It's a lack of iron. And, like, the only way that I could really get iron is by killing iron golems, so... I guess I get a bit- I, I guess I better get the corpse counter up. The mob farm stopped working, so I hopped in creative mode on a copy of the world and just started placing beds. That ended up working somehow, so then I got beds on the actual world. This is confusing. I don't know why villagers are like this. I thought they had enough beds, but apparently they don't. So then I AFK'd for an hour, waiting for all the beetroot to come in. This is at like a hundred times speed, by the way. The farm is just not working, and I just do not know why. So I did the only thing that makes sense. You know what? It's reset, but I'm going to follow a saying that I was always told as a kid. If you do the exact same thing over and over and over and over and over again, something's bound to change, right? So I began making another farm, then I moved it, then I realized that this is really stupid. Eventually I realized, maybe the inside of this dirt place thing that I've been having for a while, I mean, like, like I have like five villages left, they really don't need that much room. And honestly, it could probably work out pretty well. So I decided to begin building my farm there. I even decided to record some of my live audio while building. Man, villagers are the worst mobs in Minecraft. Man. The more I work with villagers, the more I absolutely hate them. I really don't get villagers. Okay, the farm is still not working. So I decided to do the worst thing I've ever done. Go on Reddit. Specifically a reddit for like people who actually know how to do this stuff and I was asking why aren't my villagers working because I need to figure this out Desperately, okay. Well, um, I figured it out. Okay, so basically, you know Like sometimes when they would throw the beats sometimes it would go in the hopper But then sometimes it would go to the other villagers So just slowly both of the inventories would fill up But but because there's nowhere for the beats to go anymore because they both have full inventories that you know, like, I... And how do we fix this? You know, at first, I started this project in spite of people saying that I love beetroot. But in the end, I kind of do now. I have this weird appreciation for it, at least, right? Like, it's something that's so underused, but I think it does have some real purpose. I mean, I can make red dye. Okay, yeah, it's useless.